This is going to be a short overview video of using the Node Red Contrib Flex Radio nodes to control your Flex Radio from Node Red. In this, I'm just going to go through a very basic setup of sending and receiving control messages to and from my radio. So in this case, you can see that this is uh, hosted on nodered.org and you can search there for the flows. So I'm in a brand new Node Red instance here and I'm going to start up. I'm not going to use projects, but I'm going to bring in by installing the Flex Radio nodes. So I search for Node Red Contrib Flex Radio and this video was with version 0.32. So I go ahead and I install that and that's going to bring in a series of nodes that I can then use. So I'll close that. We'll scroll down here and you can see I've got a variety of different uh, a variety of different nodes that I can use. The discovery in the Vita 49 I'm not going to use. Uh, this is for decoding the raw packets coming across the network and this is for the discovery protocol. You can use this to automatically discover your radio on the network. I already know where mine is so I'm not going to bother with that one. I'm also not going to use flex radio decode. This is sort of more of an internal testing right now. But what I am going to use is the request, the messages, status, and the meter. So if I first thing I'm going to bring out is I'm going to bring out messages and status. And these, as you can see, are nodes that inject things into the flow. So messages are the inter-radio communication that the radio puts out between stations that are operating on it. And then status are general status items from the radio. So I'm going to go and I'm going to drag a debug node out here so that we can see what these things are generating when they're active. Now, right now, you see they've got the red triangle because they're not configured. I need to configure my flex radio. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the edit button here. And I know that my flex radio is on my network at flex 6600M. And I'm going to name it flex 6600M. I'm going to leave, uh, leave the station as no station right now. This uh, is still in testing. And the port number, that should be the TCP port number that your radio is listening on. You shouldn't have to change that. You also don't need FR stack or anything like that in between here. Now I'm also going to go configure my status to point to that same radio. So there we've got that. So now if I deploy, you'll see that it's connected to my radio. If I go and I pick on debug, this is a message that came across from the radio. Let me change these up a little bit so that we've got one of each so we can see where they're coming from. And let me redeploy. And you can see that this connect message is one of these messages that the radio sends out when a new client connects. So in this case, those are coming across as messages. Now, I, I actually want to do some things with the radio here. I want to um, make some changes. I want to inquire as to what the setup is, those types of things. I want to send commands to the radio. So to do that, I'm going to bring out the flex radio request. And the flex radio request, again, I'm going to go configure it to use my radio. And I'm going to drop a debug node on the other end of that so that I can see what output I'm getting. And then I'm going to put an inject node here at the head end of it. Now there's a variety of different things that I can put here into this inject node. So I'm going to change the messages payload oops, to a string. I'm going to delete the topic. But before I go any further, I want to find out what messages I want to send. So I'm going to bring up Flex Radio's wiki. And in here, I'm going to look at the smart SDR TCP IP API. And I'm going to look at what the TCP IP commands are. So right here at the top, smart TCP IP commands. And uh, let's go in here and let's see what we've got. We've got a variety of different things that we can uh, use to control the radio in a variety of different ways. What I'm going to start with is this info right here. And this is the TCP IP info, which will send back an example that will give me some information about my radio. So I see from here that the command is info. So I'm just going to take that. I'm going to put that over here in my payload so that I send the info command. I click done. I deploy. Let's clear out my messages. And when I click info, you can see here that now I've got this JSON object coming out. That's the information from my radio. And I can do a variety of different things with this. I, I could put it onto a dashboard or a, some other sort of use of it. So before I go a lot further, I, I want to start looking at some of the metering information that the radio gives me. So I'm going to inject something different here. I'm going to inject in my payload a string, which is meter list. 
Again, I don't need the topic. And I can inject that here. Let me deploy, clear out what's here. Now, if I run meter list, you can see that I get a JSON object that has all of the different meters that I can subscribe to. So uh, let's see, automatic level control. Let's, where's, uh, I forget which one's the fan speed here. But these uh, meters are numbered, but you'll see we're, when we subscribe to them, we're actually going to get them as their name. So let me find the, here's gain. Ah, here we go. Here's an interesting one. The preamplifier temperature. So here's my SWR, but I'm going to look at the preamplifier temperature. So I want to subscribe to this meter so that I can then uh, make a dashboard that shows me the ongoing temperature. To do this, I've got a couple of steps. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to Whoops, I'm going to change my, in, I'm going to add an inject node, and I'm going to change it to a string, sub meter 22. So this will subscribe to the meter and then start generating messages to me from the meter. So if I go ahead and I deploy that, let's clear out the debug window. Let's go ahead and do that. You see I've got sub meter 22, but I'm not collecting the data from the meters yet. That, I use the flex radio meter. So if I take this, I connect this to my radio, pick done, and now let me get another debug node. And I can simply try, tie that up to that and deploy. Subscribe to meter 22. And you can see now I'm starting to get the preamplifier temperature readings. Now I can subscribe to a variety of other meters. In fact, if I look over here, at the uh, pages for the protocol, we've got, oh, I'm sorry, these are the predefined meters, but we've got sub to sub to a particular meter, and uh, meter ID is the number, or I could do sub meter all if I wanted to. So let's go ahead and do that and see the volume of data that we get. So sub meter, let's change this to all. Now when I deploy, if I submeter all, you see I start getting all kinds of information. So I'm going to, well, actually I should do unsub. Unsub. Done. Deploy. That by redeploying, it's actually going to stop. So if I look here, you can see how some of these nodes come across or how some of the, the payload comes across. So for instance, the mic peak which is here. This comes across as with a topic of meter COD dash one mic peak. So here I can show the complete message objects when I do this as well, which might be a little bit more reasonable. So now if we go in and we explore some of these, you can see what the topic is, what the payload is. And if I scroll up through these, you can see things other than the mic uh, you can see that we've subscribed to meter, uh, transmit, pre-wave, automatic gain control. Here's the forward power. Forward power is a bit tricky, but right now it's zero. Um, SWR is 1.0. I'm not, I'm not doing anything right now. Um, so there's a variety of all of the different meters you can subscribe to. So this is just meant to be a quick and dirty getting stuff installed and running. And I'm going to stop there and you can use it how you need.